that by the time you get back home, you'll be able to tell your parents this is what we went for. Um, the university librarian in absentia, <laughs> uh, my senior colleagues or professional colleagues, the, the sectional heads present, you are all welcome. And members of this committee, a speech delivered by Professor Chin Zan on the occasion of celebration of UNESCO World Book and Copyright Day at Nam Dazikiwe Library, University of Nigeria, Asuka, with pupils from University Staff School. World Book Day and World Book and Copyright Day is a celebration to promote the enjoyment of books and reading. Each year, on 23 April, celebration takes place all over the world to recognize the scope of books. A link, what is a book? A book is a link between the past and the future. A bridge between generations and across cultures. 23 April is a symbolic date in the world literature. It is the date on which several prominent authors, like William Shakespeare, have you people heard about Shakespeare before? Yes. Okay. William Shakespeare, Miguel Caventis, and Inca Garcilaso de la Vega all died on the 23rd of April. All these prominent authors died on 23rd of April. And so, this date was a natural choice for UNESCO's general conference held in Paris to pay a worldwide tribute to books and authors on this date, encouraging everyone to assess books. That's why we brought you here today, so that you will interact with books. The inclusion of copyright in this day of celebration may seem unusual because of people ask, why include copyright? <coughs> copyright is often seen as a barrier to access and sharing of material of sharing of materials, particularly in the digital environment. You know, some materials online they may be free, but they discover that copyrighted. Sometimes they are licensed, I can't have access to it. He said, for example, the internet is a great source of images, music and videos, which could be shared and used in coursework, presentations, social media, etc. But each work may be copyright, may be copyright protected and reused without permission to result in copyright infringement. That is why most musicians now are not protected too much. But once they release the music that goes online, everybody downloads, even film, filmmakers. That's why most of them are not really making it, because the 